In the last part, Tesla and Edison went to war over electricity itself. Alternating current versus direct current. But winning the science didn't mean winning the world. Tesla didn't just want to power cities, he wanted to power humanity. He imagined electricity flowing freely across the world. Wireless power, global communication, energy without borders. But vision alone doesn't build empires. Edison understood something Tesla didn't, control. Edison patented aggressively. He built companies, he secured investors. While Tesla chased the future, Edison locked down the present. Tesla partnered with George Westinghouse. Together, they pushed alternating current forward. But money ran out. When financial pressure hit, Tesla made a fatal decision. He tore up his royalty contract. He gave up millions to keep AC alive. AC power won the war of currents. Cities lit up, industries expanded. But Tesla didn't profit. Others became wealthy using his ideas. Tesla returned to isolation. As Edison's legacy grew, Tesla faded from public view. His later experiments were dismissed. He was labeled eccentric, unstable, outdated. The world moved on without him. Tesla died alone, poor, forgotten. The man who imagined the future was left behind by it. Not because he was wrong, but because he refused to play the game. Tesla won the science, but he lost control. So here's the question. Did Edison really win, or did Tesla lose something more valuable? Part three is coming.